People joke about a future where robot overlords are necessary when they encounter machines that respond like humans or computers that execute feats of strategy and intellect that mirror human inventiveness. However, there is a germ of uneasiness at the joke's core. Don't miss a beat. In this video, we'll talk about conscious AI and why it's so scary. Also, subscribe to Artificial Intel now. So why delay? Come on, get right in! From 2001 A Space Odyssey to Avengers Age of Ultron, science fiction writers and filmmakers have imagined a world where artificial intelligence outperforms and enslaves or eradicates its human creators. Not everyone is ready to embrace AI just yet, even in the real world. As computer scientists have pushed the limits of what AI can achieve in recent years, prominent figures in the fields of technology and science have voiced concerns about the potential threats posed by AI and even said that it could spell the end of humanity. But why do so many find the thought of AI to be terrifying? Please let us know what your thoughts are on this subject in the comment section below. A Danger to Existence Elon Musk is a famous figure who has expressed concern about artificial intelligence. At a conference of the National Governors Association in July 2017, Musk said, I have exposure to the very cutting-edge AI, and I think people should be incredibly concerned about it. I keep sounding the warning bell, Musk said, but until they see robots killing humans on the street, people won't know how to react because the idea is abstract. Musk first called artificial intelligence our biggest existential threat in 2014, and in August 2017, he said it posed a greater threat to civilization than North Korea. On March 14, the late physicist Stephen Hawking told the BBC, the creation of comprehensive artificial intelligence could herald the end of the human race. It's also unsettling that some computer scientists, especially those at the MIT Media Lab in Cambridge, Massachusetts, seem anxious to establish that AI can be dangerous. In 2016, researchers at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab developed a neural network they named Nightmare Machine, which could take regular photographs and turn them into terrifying nightmare scenes. The MIT team educated an artificial intelligence they called Shelley on 140,000 scary stories submitted by Redditors to the R No Sleep community. Previously, Manuel Sabrian, a research manager at MIT Media Lab, told Live Science via email, We are interested in how AI produces emotions of dread in this particular situation. Terror and Loathing Associate Professor of Computer Science at Cornell University and AI skeptic Killian Weinberger told Live Science that people's fears of AI fall into two broad categories. The fear that AI will become conscious and attempt to destroy us, and the fear that immoral individuals will utilize AI for evil reasons. One thing that people are terrified of, he continued, is that if superintelligent AI, more brilliant than us, becomes conscious, it could treat us as inferior beings like we treat monkeys. That's a bad idea for sure. Fears that AI would gain consciousness and overtake humanity are based on misunderstandings of what AI is, Weinberger argued. Algorithms set the bounds within which AI can function. Certain tasks are well suited to AI because they fit the capabilities of the technology. But most things do not map to it and they're not appropriate, he continued. According to Weinberger's assessment, there has been no progress in research on AI achieving awareness. To paraphrase, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Unfortunately, far more likely, Weinberger continued, is the second worrying concept, which is that an unethical human might exploit AI for destructive objectives. Insofar as the intent of the user is concerned, just much any machine or instrument may be used for either good or evil, and the thoughts of weapons harnessing artificial intelligence is certainly alarming and would benefit from tight government regulation, as Weinberger has stated. Perhaps, Weinberger argued, if humans could overcome their apprehension about dangerous AI, they would be more receptive to its benefits. Please share your thoughts on this matter. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them here. Otherwise, we're done for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.